Out there across the globe, global Christian friends. We're trying to cram as much knowledge as we possibly can into these time short span that we have. And we hope that you're receiving this knowledge. For well, this knowledge is living knowledge, it's the knowledge that will take you on out beyond uh, the heavens. It has to, because Jesus said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Therefore, they'll take you on out beyond the heaven, because my words are spirit, and they're life. All right? And we look at Luke 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, and 4. How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself said in the book of Psalms, The Lord said unto my Lord, Thou art, uh, sit thou on my right hand, till I, the Lord, make thine enemy thy footstool. Now, God want to make your enemy your footstool. That have not changed. God want to make your enemy your footstool. God gave you power over all the power of the enemy. God has the earth as its footstool. He gave you to have a footstool. Look. You think that's strange? Jesus have a throne. He gave the apostles throne. Jesus have a throne. He said, you overcome. You can sit down with me in my throne. Even as I have overcome and I'm sat down with my father in his throne. All right? So God wants you to have. I'm not talking about God wants you to have prosperity and all that kind of stuff. That's up to you and God. Believe his prophets, you shall prosper. The Bible said. Believe God, you shall be established. Believe his prophets, you shall prosper. That's the word. So do what you want to do. Grasp what you want to grasp. I have all the wealth that I need. Please believe me. I have all the wealth that I need personally. I'm just as rich. I'm just as poor. I'm just as happy as birds flying through the sky on their way to a feast. And I hope it's not the feast of the great supper of God. That will be one day, you know, the Bible says so. Swimming like a fish in a clear pool of water on a nice spring day. You understand? Like angels fluttering through the heavens, singing and praising God. Saying, glory to God in the highest. On earth, peace, good will toward men. Or, like the four beasts and the angels. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Who was, who is, and who is to come. Now, David therefore called him Lord. How is he then his son? That makes sense. If David called Jesus Lord, then how can Jesus be David's son? He called him Lord. That don't make him a son. That make him what? A Lord. And this is one of those crooked places that Jesus need to make straight and dear. He cleared this mess up. 
Because out there, everybody called him, Thou son of David. Thou son of David. Have mercy on me. Thou son of David. And Jesus just simply got fed up. Enough of that nonsense out there. Enough of your misinterpreting who I am with David. I am not David's son. I am David's who? Lord. All right, so get it straight. Get it right. That's what we come to do. We came to make the crooked places straight and the rough places smooth. That's what Jesus is doing here. Now, Jesus denounces the scribes. Companion scripture, Matthew 23, 1 through 36. Mark, chapter 12, verse 38 through 40. Also again in this book here, Luke, chapter 11, verse 37 through 54. Companion scriptures. Now, go on to verse 45, 20, 45. Then in the audience of all the people, he said unto the disciples, Beware of the scribes uh, which desire to walk in long roads and love greetings in the markets and the high seats in the synagogues and the chief rooms at feasts which devour widows' houses and for a show make long prayers. Guess what? The same shall receive a greater damnation. Y'all hear that, that preachers? Y'all hear that? Out there? He said, beware of the scribes and he has described what they are and what they do. They desire to walk in long roads. My, 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 my. I've seen them marching down the aisles in long robes uh, and they are flaunting themselves as they walk down in the coronations and in the pageantries that they are in walking down, you know, and oh, the people are all but falling down and worshiping them. I have seen people fall down and worship men. I've seen that with my own eyes. All right? Fell down and worship. I've seen people fall down and worship a statue. Six inches tall. So I've seen these kinds of things. Uh, Oh, yes, desire to walk in long robes. And, and, and guess what? And they'll make you buy those long robes uh, that they desire to walk in. <laughs> you know, go out there and get me. <laughs> Y'all get together get me a long robe. You know, I, I need a long robe. You're going, ooh, ooh. God bless you. All right. Love greeted in the markets. And the uh, high seats in the synagogue and the chief rooms at feasts. Think about that. Which devour widows' houses and for a show make long prayers. They shall receive a greater damnation because of these acts of sacrilege. God bless you. Until the next time. Uh, global Christian friends, pastors, saints, and churches, the American people, and government.